ba, ba. Okay, I'm gonna make this very simple. You give me the disc, and I let both of you drive out of here tonight. I'll even let you keep that beautiful new car. I don't have it on me. Wait! You know, frankly, Benson, it doesn't have to be this way. It's very messy. All I want is the disc. Give me the disc. Come on. Thank you. You know, if I wanted to kill you, you'd both be dead by now. So can we wrap this up? Drop me off right up there. Now remember, I don't want to see either one of you ever again. Understand? No problem. Fuck a lot, Mrs. Benson. The road can be dangerous. Daddy home? 
Yes. I missed you too, Rusty Dog. Come here. Give me that. Oh. Oh. Hey, partner. How you doing? Oh. Oh, that'll wash out. <laughs> Sandwich chug. Sandwich chug. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I made Mama Biggs. Want to see it? You know I do. Come on, it's in here. I'll be there in a flash. Hi. Hi. So, you ready for tomorrow? Well, I've got a few more specs to look over, but otherwise, no. You'll be incredible. Oh, uh, we'll see. Where's Danny? In her room. What now? She got suspended this time. <sighs> what happened? Your mother says you tapped into the school computer and changed your grades. She also added that you changed them from A's down to D's and F's. Excuse me? I was bored. You were bored. Oh, Danny. Come on, you can't always blame the school. You only get out of it what you put into it. I mean, if this were the first time, it would be different. But hey, 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 come on. All right, here's the deal. You have a choice between being grounded for two weeks... Two weeks? ...or losing your computer privileges for a week. I'll take the grounding. Found this behind the uh, driver's seat, man. Bourbon, huh? Looks like a garden variety 502. Yeah, I guess so. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I've looked over the specs of your current system maybe a dozen times, and quite frankly, they're excellent you don't need our product so in all good conscience i'm not going to sell it to you thank you very much for coming today <clears throat> uh I what rick is really trying to say is that i heard what he said jerry are you telling me that your system is no better than the one we currently have no sir what i'm saying is your system is perfectly fine I don't want perfectly fine. I want perfect. Well, in that case, maybe I can show you a few things. Imagine security, climate, entertainment, and communications right at your fingertips in every room. For example. You have central locking in your cars, right? Why not in your home? And uh, what happens in the event of a power failure due to fire, floods, and maybe even an earthquake? Emergency lighting on a battery backup. Pretty cool, huh? In short, you will be able to control every aspect of your environment with a simple touch. And I think the environmental control console is going to do for homes what the remote control did for television. What do you think? Certainly everything you said he was. Like your style, young man. Oh, really? I didn't know I had one, Mr. Denig. Please. My friends call me Philip. Plus a few other unmentionable things. <laughs> well, you got my attention. Now let's see if we can make the numbers work. I'll be looking forward to it. Philip? Damn, that was pure genius. Telling Denig he couldn't have something was brilliant. Had me going too, you son of a bitch. I was only telling like it is, Jer. You know, he doesn't really need our system. 
But if he wants to buy it, I certainly won't stop him. Huh? Dinner at Campanile. Well, you must have been brilliant. Well, Denning hasn't actually committed to buying my system yet, but it's looking pretty good. Almost as good as my wife. I am so proud of you. Finally getting all the recognition you deserve. We, we deserve. Yeah. Hey, maybe we can start thinking about private schools again, huh, for the kids? Absolutely. You know, this could really change things for the better. Out of the car. I said, move, buddy. Wait, wait a minute, car. wait a minute. Move. <laughs> Hang on a second. Take it easy. Gonna do or do her. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Next time. Let's go! Hit him! Thanks for driving all the way up, man. Wait for me, brothers, no problem. Are you sure you guys are okay? Yeah, we're fine. The cops seem to think I won't ever see my car again. Forget about the car, Ricky. You're lucky to be alive. If you guys need anything at all, you pick up the phone. spent her in the network LMN Eddie said you wanted to see me oh man that was a hell of a thing that uh, car jacking huh? yeah happened two blocks from our house how are you and Leslie you holding up Leslie wants to leave LA Jer Truth is, so do I. Matter of fact, we spent last weekend looking at homes down in Crescent Bay. My brother's a cop down there, you know, so... so you're gonna make the, uh, big move, huh? You know, we've lived in our neighborhood for over three years. We still don't know our neighbors. And get this, they found a gun in some kid's locker at Annie's school the other day. Can you believe that? This place is just getting worse. We want to be in a real community. Yeah, I hear you. Come to think of it, with you down there in the colony and us living in Crescent Bay, we'd almost be neighbors. What is it, Chair? What's wrong? The Denning deal fell through? You better sit down. It definitely needs paint. And that carpeting in the hallway. Oh, you're absolutely right, but the floor plan is sensational, don't you think? It's exactly what you said you were looking for. Oh, here comes my husband. Give me a minute, okay? Of course. Oh, honey, it's the perfect house. It's so beautiful. It's warm and rustic. The kitchen, where do you see the kitchen? It's even got a view. Now, look, I've been playing it very low-key because I think we can get another $20,000 off honey, the price. Honey. Whoa, whoa, slow I'm down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. Leslie, something's come up. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Knowlton. Welcome to the colony. Enjoy your visit. How do you know our names? These guys are on the ball, huh? Whoa, look at these gates. Look at all the hotels up there. Well, those are houses, big guy. No way. Yes, 
way. Everything's so clean here. Private security, fire station, they even have their own ranch market. And their school's in the top 2% nationally. Well, it's all great, but why are we here? Would you like to live here? Oh. <laughs> wow! The living room is bigger than our whole house. Are we really going to live here, Dad? You tell me. <laughs> is this place unbelievable or what? Rick, what is going on? Okay. Not only did Philip Denning buy my system last. He wants me to personally oversee its installation. He wants us to live here. Wow. Well, that's very gracious of him, but he's a billionaire, honey. We couldn't possibly afford the payments on a house like this. Yes, we can. Listen, his finance company is willing to buy our old home at overmarket value and carry the mortgage on this one at a price we can handle. Rick, Honey, he, he made it work for Jerry and Noreen, didn't he? Yes, Jerry is your boss. He owns his own business. He, all right, just look, let's forget about the money for a minute, okay? Even if we could afford this kind of lifestyle, this, this just isn't us. Honey, this is everything we've dreamed about and more. We've been given the opportunity of a lifetime for all of us. Andy, where are you? Wait down here. They'll be more than just safe here. They'll get the best education we can ever hope for. I mean, what more could we possibly want? Hmm. It is beautiful. I know, I know. It's so cool, Dad. Computerized control mods everywhere. GFIs on all the outlets. I am totally blown away. Where's your brother? A couple of miles down the hall. You've got to buy this place. I completely agree. Oh, that's him. That's him. I apologize for the intrusion, but uh, I didn't expect you this early. I wanted to make sure the place was presentable. Is it? This house is spectacular, Mr. Denning. Please. Philip, you must be Danielle. Rumor has it you're into computers. Have you seen your new bedroom yet? Third door on the left. Um, now, we, we, we haven't quite gotten to the point of choosing bedrooms yet. Well, of course, of course. It's just that I did take the liberty to pre-wire one of the bedrooms for modem, cable, and fiber optic connections, not to mention a custom console for your equipment. Whoa. Third door on the left. <laughs> Rusty, how are you? Rusty, how do you like the house? Dog has taste. <laughs> also has a healthy bark. Yeah, it's to make up for his lack of bite. <laughs> well, I'm thrilled to finally meet you, Leslie. Well, Rick has told me wonderful things about you, Mr. Denning. He must have me confused with someone else. <laughs> well, uh, I really don't know what to say. It's a... It's a little overwhelming. Believe me, I know where you're coming from. I started with a couple of thousand dollars and a crazy dream myself. I wanted to create a place where one could actually control one's environment. I have to tell you, Leslie, your husband and I are kindred spirits. Every time I look at him, I see myself. You're exactly the kind of people I want here at the colony. Have you seen the kitchen? Beautiful day, isn't it? 
sure is. Uh, unfortunately, you're incurring several violations of the CCNR this morning. The CCNR? The Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions. You see, pets are not allowed anywhere on the colony common grounds. Also, this is an unauthorized jogging zone, and your exercise attire is in violation of the dress code. Excuse me? Uh, the colony sports shop has a very nice selection of jogging outfits, as well as maps of the approved running trails. I just want to do a few laps around the neighborhood. I mean, we just moved in. Yes, I know, and that's why I won't be giving you a citation today. A citation? Uh, but I'm afraid I will have to write you a warning. I'm sure you understand that here at the colony, everyone's interests need to be taken into consideration. Amazing view, isn't it? They never tire of it. It's like looking at a piece of fine art. The truth is, I like to think of the land as my canvas. It's a little arrogant, I know, but what the hell. <laughs> Speaking of fine art, I do like this. I had it commissioned. The artist said it was a mirror of my personality. Sharp, reflective, yet enigmatic. It's a bunch of crap, of course, but I'm still drawn to the damn thing. <laughs> so how are we adjusting to life at the colony? Well, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing, Mr. Denick. Philip. Way before this was built, our parents used to bring us down here. We even hiked on this hill. You know, my dad always dreamed about living up here, but he knew he'd never be able to, not on a cop's salary. Fact is, his dream sort of became mine. And I know this is going to sound corny, but you've actually made it come true. No, 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 no. Not me. You did. I just wish... I don't know, it's just too bad he couldn't be here for this. Yeah, Jerry told me about it. Killed in the line of duty. The kid who shot my dad was only 13. He did two years and was released. Rick. As long as you're behind these colony gates... Nobody out there need ever concern you ever again. That's the beauty of living in a totally controlled community. Excuse me, Mr. Denick. Mr. Corwin is here to see you now. I hope to get his butt in here. He's keeping a very important man waiting. He's keeping me waiting, too. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but traffic was murder. Let's say hello to Doug Corwin. He's head of colony security. You two will be working together. Nice to meet you. We're all thrilled to have you joining our family. Um, is there a decent computer class? Danielle, we have an entire wing devoted to computer science. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. This is one of our seventh grade classes. And in addition to the customized workstation, each student is given a P100 laptop for their personal use. Oh, I count only 12 kids in here. Well, as a matter of fact, this is one of our more crowded classrooms. We usually like to keep the ratio about 10 to 1. Wow. Yeah, I didn't realize there were uniforms here. Oh, we have to wear uniforms? I know you'd rather wear jeans, Danielle. But this way, you can put all your concentration into your schoolwork without worrying about the status of the girl sitting next to you. The fact is, you're all part of a very exclusive community here. There's no need to prove anything to anyone. It's very impressive. Oh, I thought you'd feel that way. Do you have clan stuff here? Andy is wonderful at making pottery. Well, his talents will be highly nurtured here, I can assure you. Oh, uh, Amanda will take you for your garment fittings while your mother and I have a little chat. It's right this way. <laughs> uh, 
I know how hard it is enrolling a child in a new school, Mrs. Knowlton. But there's no better place on earth for Andy and Danielle than right here. I can assure you of that. No, I know they'll get a great education here. I'm just... Well, quite honestly, I'm concerned about them turning out like regular people. As a matter of fact, they won't. They'll have a distinct advantage when it comes time to face the outside world. And they'll owe it all to you. I don't see anything wrong with that, do you? Well, who do I see about joining the PTA? We don't have a PTA, Mrs. Knowlton. We found that even with the best of intentions, a parent can sometimes interfere with a student-teacher relationship. Excuse me. at March for every home to be totally online, but some of the houses will be up and running within the next week. See everything I said he was? And then some. You're not going after my job, are you, Nolta? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're both very good at what you do. <laughs> it's a good day today, Rick. Thank you, sir. It's a fake. That's impossible. I checked it myself. You checked the directory and the files were all listed. That's right. You didn't bother to open up any of the actual files, though, did you? No. All the files that Benson took were copy protected. They wouldn't be on the directory if they weren't on that disk. Then will you please tell me why this disk is completely blank? Benson ate, slept, and drank computers. There wasn't anything he couldn't do. I thought the same was true of you. Especially with something this simple. Find the disc, Doug. Do you like the school? Uh-huh. It's great. Danny? The computer wing blew me away. Quad speed CDs, 32 megs of RAM on every system. It's gonna be great, Mom. Looks pretty good, to you. Ah, good afternoon, Mrs. Nolden. We're just about finished here. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Just about finished doing what? Just checking radon levels. It's a free service here at the colony. Well, you need to go through my cupboards to check for radon? Well, we like to be very thorough. Now, as soon as we complete the garage, we'll be out of your hair. No, I... Why, wait a minute, why wasn't I notified about this? I assumed you were. I'm sure it was just a slip-up at our dispatch. Now, if you'll just allow us to... No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, no. This is my home. I'd like you to leave. Of course. We'll come back at a more convenient time. These radon guys went through our drawers? They said they like to be very thorough. Well, how did they get in? Did, did you set the security system? I thought I did. Oh, this isn't right. No, I, I already called and complained. They promised it'll never happen again. They apologized profusely. Anything else exciting happened to you today? I registered the kids in school. And? The kids seem fine. There's no PTA. No parental involvement anywhere that I could see. That's strange. The whole campus seemed so controlled. Well, my day was much better. I only got a ticket for jogging in the wrong clothes. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. Listen to this. Mm. No overt kissing or fondling within eyesight of neighbors. Well, that's not good. Oh, now no, be a good boy. No vehicles deemed aesthetically offensive. No unapproved overnight house guests. What? I can't believe that everybody who lives here buys into all these rules. Jerry'd never go for half of these. <sighs> well, this is good. 
all the mods are placed to coat on the upper levels. And the uh, pre-wiring looks fine, too. Wait a minute. There's an extra 16-strand line not indicated in the plans. I was at it at my request. Why? I thought it made sense if we ever decided to upgrade our electronics. With all due respect, uh, this design is mine. And not only that, but this wiring should be included in these plans. It would have only caused red tape with the county design review, and we're already two months behind. And with equal respect, Rick, it's not your design anymore. It belongs to the colony. Are there any other surprises I don't know about? Not at all. Mike. Yes, Mr. Knowlton. I saw your name on the list. How are you today? I'm fine. I understand you're carrying a handgun this afternoon. Yeah, that's right. I'm a cop. Is this an official visit? No. You, you want to open this gate? I'm, I'm a little late. All firearms are prohibited inside the colony. Well, then why are you wearing it? I'll have to ask you to leave it here. I'd be glad to return it to you upon your departure. Look, on duty or off, I'm required to carry this at all times in the city limits, you understand? Certainly. But if you wish to attend your brother's party, you'll have to do so without your weapon. Beautiful day, isn't it? So Rick Stanton, sure the deal's fallen through. He's about to lose his job. That's when I break him this huge smile and lay all of this on him. It was unbelievable. <laughs> well, who would have ever thought that you and I would be neighbors in the colony chair? I did. Well, I did. Well, I sure didn't either. So let me tell you, I can still remember me and Ricky sharing a studio apartment off campus and paying the rent by flipping burgers at the Frosty Freeze. <laughs> what line of work did you say you were in, Mr. Barnett? I, I built houses. Ah. What, what developments have you built? No, 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 I'm just a carpenter. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I'm the best darn carpenter you ever saw. I'm sure you are. Uh, maybe you could give us a tour, Leslie. Yeah, sure. Come on. Come tomorrow. They'll be thickening that uh, CC&R manual with a new item. Right, Ellisburg? No old friends allowed on the premises. Well, I hope it doesn't come to that, but, uh, you know, you've got to admit that some of the rules and regulations around here are slightly uh, ridiculous. Uh, well, Robin and I lived in Bel Air with a $20,000 security system, and we were burglarized twice. We're perfectly willing to give up what we consider to be minor freedoms for the quality of life we have here. Quality of life. Whew. Frank, mm. why don't we go say hello to the Millers? Mm. Huh. Oh, hang on a second. Mike, I'm so glad you could make it. Uh, Leslie, you know, asked for plants. So. It's a perfect gift. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it is. Leslie's gonna love. Take that delivery around two o'clock. Thank you. There's perfect. Hello, Mr. Knowlton. I'm Audrey Chow, Hi. Colony Decorators. Mr. Denig asked me to deliver a housewarming gift to you. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, yes, very interesting. <laughs> You've made a bold statement with your decor, Mr. Knowlton. It conveys a genuine sense of 
space? Really? Well, actually, we haven't gotten around to buying any new mm. furniture. Uh, this is stuff from the old house. Oh, yes, I see. Um, <coughs> I decorate all the homes in the colony, and you really should have phoned me before you threw this party. Oh. She phoned her. Oh, boy, you know that attorney that lives down the street is a real jerk putting Steve down that way. I know. And it wasn't just him. And how about that sculpture they delivered? Talk about cold and ugly. I mean, who would give that to a family with kids? I know, listen, we'll keep it for a week or so just to be polite, then it's history. Let's just get through this party, okay? okay? Hello, Gentry. Mike, hey. that fern is beautiful. I know just where I'm gonna plant it. What a place you got here. Good going, guys. Thanks a lot, Mike. It's weird. Being back in this house again. You've been here before, Frank? Oh, yeah. Benson's used to live here. Bob Benson was the only friend I had in this place. I heard they moved south. Uh-huh. Right off a cliff. Pew. That brand new company car didn't gave him. Would that have been a silver Jaguar? You've got it. Hmm? Poor Bob. He was a mess. Towards the end there, he was putting away... I don't know. A few fifths of gin a week. <laughs> he drank gin. <laughs> he certainly did. What was he so upset about? I suggest you ask good old Phil Denning about that. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff Bob told me. There are lots of skeletons under these gilded streets. Frank, I think it's time we left. <sighs> Damn right it is. In fact, it's way too late. We should never have moved into this place. Hello, Frank. I'm a little upset today, Frank. You all right? Uh, um, I'm fine, Mr. Denick. Oh, come on. How many times have I told you call me Philip? Frank, why don't you and Mary go on home? Kick off your shoes, relax. Mr. Corwin would be happy to escort you. Do you mind, Doug? Not at all. Shall we? Oh, hi. I apologize for my tardiness. No problem. It's like a great party you've got here. Thank you. Look, don't let that get to you. Frank Williamson and his wife have been having difficulties lately. Hey, got a little surprise for you. Come on. High time he gave that old dented station wagon of yours a rest and started driving a company car, don't you think? business about those people who used to live here really bugs me. Mike's looking into it. In the meantime, worrying will do us no good at all. I know. You feel like breaking a covenant or two? Oh, man, do I.
Just stand back and let me know if you see any streaks. What are you doing to our house? The neighbors, what are the neighbors gonna say? Don't worry! It'll dry darker. It's a sensational color, don't you think? Yeah. No, my darling, it is velvet plum and I love it. Long, easy stroke. Attaboy. Oh, my God. Frank. Frank. So you decided to do a little painting this evening, Mr. Williamson. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you're certainly doing a wonderful job. Thank you very much. You know, however, as I'm sure you know, uh, velvet plum is an unapproved color here at the colony. Not anymore. I just approved it. In fact, I think I'll paint my entire house this color. Oh, my God! Voila! Yes! Yes! Mr. Williamson, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cite you for violating CC&R codes F-103A, B, and C. A, B, and C, and D, and E. What the hell is wrong with you? Can't you live your life without some rich lunatic watching your every move, controlling everything you do? What the hell is wrong with all of you? Listen to Wait, me! Stop! Stop! We gotta talk here. This guy Corwin's been screwing with our security system behind our backs. He's got blid sensors planted outside the new homes. Uh, slow down. Buried line intrusion devices on private property? Come on, I've never seen those things outside of a military base. Why would he plant those? To alert colony security about intruders on the grounds, of oh, course. Come on, that's way over the top. I mean, why all this secret security? Well, who says it's secret? You knew about this? Of course I knew. Then it came to me with the idea and I agreed to it. Don't you find that just a little paranoid? Do you know what it's like to come home after school and find both your parents with their heads blown off? Philip Dinnick does. 
From the way I heard it, the guy across the street was rebuilding cars on his front lawn. He's blasting his stereo at all hours of the night. Then his parents complained about it. One too many times, I guess. He found them both sprawled out on the living room floor. Puts things into perspective, huh? Yeah, it does. But I still can't go along with what's happening here. Rick, we've been friends a long time. You gotta stop worrying so much about the details and appreciate the big picture. That's what living in the colony is all about. Hi, honey. How was school? Good. This is Bradley, Mom. He's my new friend. Well, hello, Bradley. Do your parents know you're here? I already left a message on their voicemail. Give us a present, dum-dum. Oh, yeah. Here, Mom. I made this for you. Well, thank you. Ow! Careful. It's sharp. Yeah, so I noticed. I made it myself. Do you like it? Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Come on, let's see if you have any decent toys. What are you doing? Nothing. Who are you? It sure doesn't look like nothing. Where's your mother? She's right outside. Funny, I didn't see her. Mr. Carwin? May I help you? Hello, Mrs. Knowlton. What's going on? I was just going to install a signal booster for our cable channels, Mom. FCC kosher all the way, really. Tampering with your home's internal electronics is a violation of colony covenants, conditions, and restrictions, Danielle. I didn't know. Of course you didn't. I'll just leave them the way they are, and I'll send somebody by to reconnect them, okay? Good day. Sorry, Mom. Good afternoon, Mrs. Nolan. We're replacing your fern, free of charge. No, I don't want it replaced. Boston ferns are not allowed. Their water consumption exceeds the approved limit. Additionally, they have an invasive root system and are considered an eyesore. He's right, Mom. We learned that in school last week. We're new. It's right there in the CCNR book. Duh. Look, this is my property, okay? You can't just show up here and do something like this. We're only following instructions, ma'am. We brought along a fine assortment of alternatives, both real and artificial. The ficus benjamin is especially nice, made of the finest silkscreen polyester. Look at this. What's going on? They dug up Mike's fern. What? We're simply following instructions, sir. Hey, Rusty! Come here, boy. Oh, that's a good... 
good puppy. Beautiful animal, Mr. and Mrs. Milton. What's up? I'm afraid that several of your neighbors have filed complaints about your dog's barking. What? He hardly barks at all. Not according to the statutes of the CCNR, I'm afraid. But fortunately, we have several options to remedy the problem. You could keep your pet contained indoors at all time. You could find him in your home. Or you could have us perform a relatively simple operation that adjusts the vocal cords. Oh, well, it's nice to know. I think you better leave now. As a matter of fact, I think all of you better go, all right? Thank you. Go on. What next? You know, I'd like to question Mrs. Williamson alone, if you don't mind. I'm the head of Colony Security Detective. It's my job to be here. Yeah, and it's my job to conduct the investigation of a homicide, as I see fit. Why are you calling this a homicide? And it seems to me that an unstable man shot himself. Well, that's up to the medical examiner to decide, don't you think? Indeed it is. ballistics on that. Are you buying into suicide? Seems pretty open and shut. Okay, where do you get the revolver? They don't allow guns past the gates here. Well, I don't know about that. But the victim's hand tested positive for powder burns. And if somebody helped him eat that bullet, uh, they were very, very experienced at it. Hal, you remember that 502 on Hidden Canyon Road? The Jack. Yeah. Can we do a stomach pump on that? Sure. What was he drinking? Bourbon or gin? Bourbon. Same as the bottle we found in the car. Yeah, that's what I thought. At least one or two. What happened? Well, officially. Your neighbor shot himself. Mike, what the hell is going on? Well, something, that is for sure. Look, I'm going to have to open up a full investigation into this place, Ricky. I'm sorry. Mom, have you seen Rusty? Uh, I thought I saw him in the front yard. I don't know what to think anymore, Sandy. It just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Well, you thought about moving out? Yeah, but to where? A community like this? It's what we always wanted. Or thought we wanted. Well, I think you want all the right things. I mean, it's everybody's dream to feel safe and secure. Have great neighbors. Beginning to wonder if that place even exists anymore.
Andy. Well, they don't have as much money as we do, right? I've got homework. Andy! Matthew, honey, he didn't mean well, that. Well, why would he say something like that? What are they teaching your kids in here, anyway? Mm. I appreciate all your help, Mr. and Mr. Benson. Anything we can do to help. What's this? Bob made his own CD-ROMs. Hmm. Why would he be doing that? He said they couldn't be erased. So, uh, your son talked a lot about his work, huh? He used to. Things changed after he moved into that place. How so? Well, you could just tell. He pretended everything was fine, but uh, we knew it wasn't. Bob started coming over on weekends and working. Why was he coming over here to work? That's what we asked him. We never really did find out. Is there any way you could fire this thing up so we could find out what he was working on? Well, I'd try. I need to speak with my son's teacher. I'm afraid you'll have to make an appointment. pleased with Ryan and Corey's work. I think you'll be very impressed. Mrs. Knowlton? I was planning on calling you today. What kind of stuff are you teaching these kids here? Andy used to make wonderful pottery. He used to love playing with his old friends. I can see that you're very upset. You're damn right I'm upset. I'm pulling them from this school effective Monday morning. I want all of their files transferred to the Crescent Bay School District as soon as possible. Mrs. Knowlton, please calm down. I'm transferring them, Mrs. Billingsley. Have you talked to them yet? Mm -hmm. I thought we should do it together. We've looked everywhere for him, Mom. Honey, there's nowhere for Rusty to go. He's got to be in the neighborhood somewhere. He's got his tags on, too. If no one calls by the end of dinner, I'll go looking for him. Okay. Hey, um, guys. Hang on. There's something that we have to talk about. Yeah, your mother and I have decided... Fine. <laughs> What's wrong?
Oh, 15, you sandbagger. <laughs> no way. Uh, I gotta hang up now. Someone far more important than you just walked in. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. No, it's not. My family and I are having some problems here in the colony, and I thought the best way to deal with them is to talk to you directly. Is this about what happened at the school? As part of it. Come on, Rick, you can see that Leslie may have overreacted a bit. Why don't you call Andy's teacher, make an appointment, see for yourself. I trust my wife, okay? Look, it's not only that. I could learn to live with quite a few of the restrictions here, but Philip, your people cut my dog's throat. No, 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 no. <laughs> what they did was quiet down Rusty's bark. And we are not the only community with a policy like that. No, but you're the only one who does it without asking. Sit down, Rick. Hey, look, I can understand why you're upset. You have to take a step back and, and look at the broader scope of what it is we're trying to accomplish here. And then you'd understand that there is a reason for each and every rule in that manual. Oh, believe me, I have tried. Rick, you're as much part of the colony as I am. Your fingerprint is on every house. And pretty soon you're going to be involved in the making of the very kinds of rules you're objecting to now. Think about it. Do you really want the men who stuck a gun in your wife's face shopping at the same market that she shops at? Or dining at the same restaurant? Of course not. I'm also not thrilled that you altered the specs on my system without asking me. You went behind my back, Philip. I have a serious problem with that. There's never a problem when the client gets what he wants. The problem stems from outsiders. Can't appreciate what it is we're creating here. Outsiders like your brother. What's my brother have to do with this? You've got to get him to call off this ridiculous investigation. You've got to talk to him. I can't do that. Can't or won't? Listen, Rick. When we allow people to move into the colony, we expect them to leave the outside world behind. That is the price they pay to live in a community as perfect as this one. You're either willing to pay that price or you're not. And believe me, the cost of not paying it may be far, far greater. I'm sorry, Mr. Knowlton, but we can't accept your listing. Why not? We did a routine title search. Colony Enterprises is the owner on record, not you. No, that's impossible. We used our old house as the down payment. According to these documents, you legally turned over ownership of your previous home as payment for a lifetime membership in the colony. None of that principle was actually applied towards your new home. Are you saying that all of our equity is gone? Well, aren't those your signatures? This can't be. Dad, I got my wish. I got that house on the hill with a spectacular view. Be careful what you wish for. Honey, stop doing this to yourself. They can't get away with this. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'd like to take this opportunity to... Uh, express my appreciation to all of you for everything that you've done in helping to make the colony the success that it has become. Thanks to our legal wizards, and thanks to some steadfast lobbying by our friend and neighbor here at the colony, Irv Dicterall, who's a member of the County Board of Supervisors. Irv. And because of their efforts, I can now announce that as of the first of the year, we are severing all our ties with Crescent Bay, and the colony will become its own fully incorporated county. We'll be able to force our own laws without outside interference. You are pioneers, my friends. Pioneers in a, a way of life that's going to sweep across the globe. And your loyalty Your loyalty will not be forgotten. Rick, 
would do this. This is between Denig and me. Could we talk in private? Philip, did you really think you could sell that house behind my back? The house I gave you? I only want what's mine returned. What's yours became mine when you moved here. The sad part is that everything that's mine could have been yours someday. We're leaving. You'll do no such thing. You've got a job to finish. Yeah, we'll find somebody else, because I quit. I don't think you understand the ramifications of that decision. You've left me with no choice. You'll lose everything. Only what never mattered. You're very, very wrong about that. start Monday if possible oh terrific great yeah okay I'll be in uh, I'll be in first thing tomorrow to take care of the paperwork then and I'll, I'll definitely be joining the PTA all right great thanks so much bye bye oh Where is he? What? He never got off the bus. Relax, Mrs. Knowlton. Where is Andy? Mrs. Knowlton, please. Oh, here it is. Your husband signed Andy out. Mrs. Knowlton, you really must calm down. Hello? Boy, you had me worried. What's wrong? Well, nothing now. But, honey, next time you're going to pick Andy up from school, let me know, okay? What are you talking about? I didn't pick him up. Andy's not with you? No, what's going on, Les? Oh, my God. He's been missing for over an hour. You saw my phone. I should have pulled him out of that school yesterday. No, no, nobody got a good look at the guy. Yes, I contacted Colony Security. They said there's no way Andy could have gotten past the gates, but I don't know what to believe. You had us worried sick, big guy. Where were you? Mr. Gordon picked me up and gave me a tour of the security complex. It was really cool. told me the Benson case was closed. What's this all about? Well, there's no record of him uh, leaving here that night through the main gate. This is the only other way out. What are you thinking? I'm thinking they had company. You know, somebody with access to this gate. Look, let's see if we can find anything that looks hinky, all right? Oh, watch that fence. It's got a small bite to it. Give me a cup of coffee, will you, Hardison? Certainly, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. obvious.
What'd you find? Well, they ain't a hiking boot, that's for sure. Huh? I think we just got lucky. Son of a bitch! Mike? Mike! Hey, Dad. Hey. I'm so sorry. For what? Well, for giving you a taste of all this, then taking it all away. Dad, I hate it here. I mean, everything's ultra tech, which is cool. But the place is totally bizarre. I mean, the stuff they're trying to make us swallow, like we're better than everyone else just because we live in the colony. And the kids. They're zombies walking around with platinum cards. I mean, look what they did to Andy. Why didn't you tell us sooner? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Well, your mother and I did something right. Yo? Rick, it's Mike. Oh, my God. Are you all right? What is it, Dad? I can't believe this. Yeah, it's quite a shock, huh? This is all because of me. No, like, I'm here because of what I found out. Like, this Benson guy who used to live in your house, he was some hotshot software designer. Denning was taking him under his wing, too, but it went sour or something. Because Benson started to very quietly document all kinds of stuff. Or his parents' house. What stuff? I don't know. I didn't find out. What I did find out is that he told his lawyer to meet him the next day so he could give him some kind of a disc. But the next day never came for him. Those radon guys. What radon guys? They came and searched our house. They even went through our drawers. Okay, listen to me very carefully, Ricky. Whatever is on that disc, I think Denig has already killed for it at least once. I want you to get every Hurry up and finish packing, okay? Mike's in the hospital. He's okay. What happened? the other day. I know I should have told you about it, but I... Rick! All right, it took a couple of days to crack the code. I just got in a few minutes ago. All right, I checked a few already. Now, the COL extensions are mostly real estate files, but the SUR extensions are... Well, you've got to see them. to have a situation at the Knowlton residence, Doug. Go ahead, pick any house at all. All right, now I think this taps us into their security system or something. Click on an icon, he won't believe it. My God, this is a live picture. They've got cameras in every room of every house. They could be watching us right now. Where are you going? Garage. Good evening, Crescent Bay Community Hospital. Mike Knowlton's room. Cut the line and jam their cell transmission. This may take a few moments, sir. Hello, room 356. Is Mike Knowlton there? No, Mr. Knowlton's down in x-ray. Oh, 
Oh, just a minute. He just got back. It's your brother. He says it's an emergency. Hello, Ricky. Mike. Mike. The phone just went dead. They can't see a thing now. I cut the video lines. They might have seen it now. Let's get out of here. I'll get Andy. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. It really doesn't have to be this way. What have you done with my family? Well, they're perfectly fine. But if I don't get the disc... Give it to me. Come on. Come on, give it to me. such plans for you, Rick. And here you are about to betray me. 
You betrayed me and my family. They're the only thing that matters. Family doesn't last forever, Rick. There are a couple of gravestones with my parents' names on it to attest to that. Now, the colony... The colony will outlast us all. Police emergency, open the gate! I'm sorry, detective, but this is private property. I can't allow you access without a warrant. Uh, you know, actually, uh, I, I got a warrant. You have a wonderful night now. Where were you going, Rick? Back to L.A.? Crescent Bay? What's the difference? The colony was your only safe haven. Even Crescent Bay has seen an alarming rise in crime of late. In fact, there's going to be a tragic carjacking there tonight. A wonderful family with a perfect future, wasted in a blink. All because they chose the wrong road. Oof. Down the steps. Okay. Have it your way. PD! Police have been summoned to the scene. Now lower your weapons immediately or you'll be arrested for obstructing justice. Everybody all right? Yeah, we're okay. You okay? up there you know there's a hell of a view from up here 